Hey everyone, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can bootstrap a Tina CMS site with the create Tina app command. The first thing you're going to do is just copy the command from our docs and go over the terminal and hit paste. It's going to ask you which package manager you want to use, and we're going to use Yarn and the default name of my Tina app. We're going to use the bare bones starter as well. After it's done, let's open it up in VS Code. Now that our app's created, let's look at the Tina configuration. You, you can see we have two collections here, pages and post, and the rest of it is just boilerplate Tina CMS setup. Let's run Yarn Dev and see our site run. This is going to start a Tina CMS server and run Next Dev as the sub process. If we go over to our browser and go to localhost 3000, we can see it's just a really basic site uh, with a home page and some posts. Let's go to slash admin slash index.html and this is going to open up the Tina CMS editing interface and let's just make a change. This is a test. Let's hit save and go back to our editor and see what has changed. If we go into the home.nbx file, we can see our changes have been saved in the file system. Let's add a new field to the page collection. If we go into the page collection, we're going to add a new field with a, the name of title, uh, a label of uppercase title, and this will just use the type of string. Awesome, so it's been added to Tina CMS, but let's update our site so that we can render it. Let's go to pages slash index.js, and we'll just create an h1 and render our title field. And that will be accessible at data.page.title. Awesome, we've saved, and let's go back over to our site, and you can see we have the new title field, and if we update it, it updates on the right on our site. Let's hit save, and let's go back and see the changes. And you can see it has saved the title field in the front matter. This is a quick example of how you can quickly create a Tina CMS site and add a new field. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on Discord and we'll be happy to respond. Thanks for watching.